French horn rotor restrain demonstration. For our demonstration purposes today, we're going to use Votaz new green uh, rotary valve cord. Okay, you can see it, catalog 3095. This is a cord that is going to allow us to restring a rotor uh, fairly quick. What we've done, we've removed our string from the middle and we're about to thread this through. To begin with, we've taken our string and we've tied a knot in. Okay. This knot we're going to feed through the hole. Now I should mention the reason I'm using this string is because the smaller diameter allows us to work on most French horns without the use. Should be noted that the thicker string uh, fishing line is a little thick and it gives us a little bit of problems running through the hole. Okay. Our biggest problem here is getting enough pounds or tension where the string will not break. Okay. okay. To start our demonstration after we have this, what we want to do is we want to basically figure eight it around the rotor and the rotor stop. Okay. Then we're going to feed it through here. What we want to do is I'm working in reverse here. Be patient. Loop it around so it comes across like this. Okay. Then what I want you to do is I want you to put a twist, um, forward twist, a round, Great. small screw. Loop it around the screw and pull that tight. Now you do not need to tighten this screw at this point. Okay. but it doesn't hurt. Depending on your lever, you may want to go over or under. If your lever travels far and is pressed way down, you'll want the cord to travel on the top. If the cord comes way up, you'll want the cord to travel underneath. Okay? Unless you plan on bending the bar so it is correct, which is the preferred method, but is not, there's not always enough time to do that. Okay. For this demonstration, I will go underneath. And the reason I do that is so that as the lever moves down, the cord moves with it and there's no chance of binding on the top. Simply insert it through the hole in our arm. Okay. I want to twist the cord this way. Okay. So as I come underneath, the cord is underneath the new cord coming through, so when I screw down the screw, it's going to remain locked in place. This is the screw you want to tighten down first. And the reason being is, I can adjust this to any height I want by simply moving it. Okay, we're just going to change our angle here. Oh, side view. So you can see the cord is kind of moving. I can simply slide it back or slide it forward depending on the position that I want. I then simply tighten the screw and I now have proper lever action. Travel from there to here. Unfortunately, this rotor is not working freely, but there it is. By adjusting the one screw here, we can simply use that to adjust the height of our lever. Okay. By adjusting this height, we can have all of our levers come to the same. Remember the hand position. We want it to be fairly parallel to the line, okay. not lowered. So we would want this to be up slightly. So I'm just going to back off our screw, let the lever come up a little bit. I might even help it pull it a little ways. Retighten our screw and inspect the new height. You now see that based on our cap and our lever, we've established a good key height. You'll do the same with, with the alternate levers, and so they are all parallel. And that's the demonstration.